It is recording. We are officially recording? Yes. All right. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of It's a Dire Thing. I am here, as you may have seen this on my last uh, little video, if you are following along with our channel. Um, I thought that I would kind of make a small edit here in regards to what do you do when you screw up Plasti Dip? <laughs> So they say it's supposed to be fairly easy to peel off. So you spray on and peel off and then everything is supposed to go back to the way uh, it originally comes before you make a big mess and Plasti Dip. So this is what we're here today to do this right now. Um, like I said, let's figure out or let's see together what happens when you decide to spray your accessories on your bike or car or whatever and screw it up. So. I can see that it's already lifted here, so I'm just going to basically take, um, you know, a sharp object here. Like, as you can see, it's kind of lifted up on the inside. Um, so I don't want to ruin my finish itself, but I don't know, it's coming off quite easily. Eh? I don't know about if it... Look at that, eh? It's actually peeling right off, so I guess if you do screw up, eh? What do you think, cameraman? It's all right. Not too bad, eh? So if you do screw up... You know what, actually, <laughs> that's actually not so bad, the thing eh? is, though, if you look at it here, look, you, what? I don't know, I still see... Plasti dip? Well, yeah. I, I think if you, well, there's that, that's clip pieces on there, let's take that off. But if you, I, I mean, I think it'll take a couple of, you know, a few good minutes to kind of, um, you know, you tinker around with it and then you wash it, I guess, and you still got some underspray on the underside there, but I think if you kind of scrub it away with some... I mean, some water and maybe. yeah I think so anyways so that one I actually sprayed that one last night so it was actually quite fresh and I really caked it on like I I made um, this paint like super super thick right I mean it's really really thick yeah you know you feel it. that's that's super thick anyways this one here I had done this one uh, these were for the under pieces these were just spare pieces that I had from last year's and um, but this is painted on much thinner much lighter coats and it's been sitting on these pieces now for at least I'd have to say almost what at least two months, uh, two months eh? it's been a long time for these so let's say now you've done whatever you had to do and then you want to remove it two months later what happens so remember that's not even 24 hours this is two months so if I can get this going here, and again, it's the same process. So when I did spray them, um, I used uh, the first coat of the uh, Plasti Dip White, because I'll spray it on, on, as you can see, black pieces here. And then um, I then finished it off with the Blaze. Is that what they call it, the Blaze? What? Yeah. The, the yellow one? They call that one the Blaze, right? The, Not sure, it's, it's an odd color. So this one is definitely coming off. It's coming off, but it is definitely, um, much much that's yeah, not bad actually you know what um these these pieces are actually unpainted they're unfinished pieces so i would wonder if it would be the same thing if if you um try and take it off of a painted part that it wouldn't want to ruin the finish of it right so but i guess for the most part i mean you know what it allows you to kind of experiment and it allows you to do some customization that you know, if things don't pan out the way you want it to, that you can actually revert it back to its original form, right? So, mm -hmm. what's up? It scratches right off here, pieces like that. Yeah, so I think as long as you kind of sit there and take your time and, and kind of just kind of scrape it off or whatever. Well, I wonder if you put it in like um, some water and soap and whatnot. So, Cause yeah, the old, you can never stop there's nothing you can do to kind of eliminate uh, overspray. But again, the overspray is going to be on the section that's not going to be visible, really, right? So, so I don't know. I think for the most part, this stuff is pretty good. Uh, other than you just that. scratch it right off oh, and take something. Yeah, you just got to take your time, right? And just kind of a rough sponge or something, maybe. Yeah. So, oh, gives you something to do when you're not writing. Ernie. <laughs> 
um, for the most part. Um, yeah, okay, so I guess Plasti Dip for, for some applications, it's pretty uh, reasonable to do. And uh, anyways, I hope that answered a couple of your questions out there. And uh, again, thank you very much for your feedback and uh, all your support. So until next time, stay tuned, be safe, have fun, be good. Ciao.